creating procedures and project templates both rely on creating new super tags. So what I do, if I want to create, say, for instance, a new procedure um, for, let's say I need to check a certain set of things every Sunday when I'm in between masses at church, which is true. So let's say I want to create my Sunday morning checklist. Notice I'm creating it as a super tag, and I'm doing that because it is itself a uh, template. So I want to have it as a super tag. But the first thing I have to do is configure that super tag so it, it, it uh, extends procedure. Uh, when it extends procedure, I now can add a procedure purpose, um, ensure I complete Sunday morning tasks, and do fill out the procedure purpose. It's actually important for one other aspect, even if it's something simple. Uh, empty inbox, plan music, um, uh, review church uh, tasks, whatever those may be, uh, command or control, enter in order to turn those into um, checks. And now whenever I run the Sunday morning checklist, I have that available to me. And they will refresh as new empty checkboxes um, each time that we, we do that. What's really cool about it is I can actually then create myself a recurring task, uh, you know, review Sunday morning checklist, create this as a recurring task, set it up so that it recurs first, it occurs first on Sunday. So we'll say the 28th and then say it's also going to recur every week also on Sunday, which I am going to complete it on Sunday, but even if I didn't, um, I want to make sure that it's set repeating from scheduled. We initialize it. Now we have a recurring task, but it doesn't have to stay just a recurring task. We can throw Sunday morning checklist onto that recurring task. And now we have the checklist delivered to us each time. And I finish it and I say, okay, I'm done with that one. It will hang on. Let me use a, let me use a, a, um, uh, um, ref uh, reference for this um, because we would be working with a reference and this will make it clearer. And so now when I go to complete it, it will show the one that I completed here and it'll have the things that I did completed in it. The original will stay as the recurring task. It's now updated for one week out and it clears out the procedure. So I now have a new version of it uh, so that I'll be able to do that procedure again uh, when it arrives via recurring task. You can also say I have a weekly BNI meeting that needs a procedure attached to it as well as it's also an event. I can extend both event and procedure. So I can get, in fact, this is more of a meeting, so I'll extend meeting and I'll extend procedure. And having done so, I can then in this event weekly BNI meeting, I can add my checklist, sign into Zoom, uh, change name on Zoom and whatever else. And then every time I run this meeting, I can have default set for what the meeting is. Uh, the meeting you know, template needs to be, but I can also have default set for the procedure. Similar concept, I can do that with project templates as well. Um, I'll make a note here, the weekly bin. I mean, I'll go ahead and give that a, a um, I said I needed to do procedure pur purpose. The procedure purpose here is make sure I have the meeting set up correctly. Okay, and so I'll leave that alone. Our project templates have a similar functionality to them. Let's say I have a weekly newsletter uh, and that has certain tasks that need to be scheduled um, every time I, I do this. Sorry, I, I did that in the wrong way here. Weekly newsletter, I need to set that up if it's its own super tag, as I told you a moment ago, so I just typed that wrong. So this is an original. It's going to extend project template. And project template will bring with it all everything about project because project template itself extends project. Uh, and then this uh, uh, will bring along uh, also a reference date, a template purpose, and some template tasks. So the template purpose is set up my uh, newsletter process. And the re and le reference date, we're going to leave blank because we'll want that with each instance, not within the default. And then for our scheduled tasks, though, we want to say, okay, well, what do we have here that we need to do? Let's say that I need to um, uh, set topic and then write first draft. And then I need to post outline on Twitter for 
subscribers, and then, you know, polish and send newsletter. And you see this little day offset that came with this automatically. If I open this up, I can say, oh, I want to set, let's say I'm doing this weekly. I want to set a topic five days before the newsletter comes out. I want to write the first draft three days before, post out on light on Twitter, two days before, two days before, and then uh, polish and send the newsletter on the day of. So that would be a zero offset. What this means I can now do, and this is where things get really fun. Gosh, I love this. Okay. I can now set up a weekly newsletter. Uh, we'll say weekly newsletter 55. I've been doing this a long time, apparently. Okay. Weekly newsletter that will come along um, with the template purpose like there. It will come along with these set like this. You'll see there's a button up here. Once I've set the reference date, let's say I want to set this on uh, June 3rd. And so it's going to go out on June 3rd. When I click this, these will be automatically turned into tasks that are scheduled for the correct dates. So we had the date offset of five for this, five days of June 5th, a date offset of three, or June, June 5th, uh, June 3rd rather, uh, three days before June 3rd. Um, this one is two days before June 3rd, and this one is on June 3rd. This works for, for dates that are before or after or the day of. Uh, you can use those offsets to set that. You can also add other tasks to the template down here that don't need to be scheduled, and you can just add them as plain nodes and then uh, turn them into tasks when you've launched the template. But what this means, and you can see up here when you see they're scheduled, all of these are already set just like they would be in any other project, just at the one click of the button and the preset of the offsets. Um, this makes it really, really useful uh, to track all of this. One last thing. There is a within this a query that allows you to look at any of your procedures. This is why you need to use procedure purpose and template purpose because they won't show up without you having done so. Um, this is where they are. Um, it has the checklist. If you want to make any changes to your checklist, this is a great way to do it. Super nice way to keep these things organized and make sure that these are showing up uh, you know, that these are that you know where all of your templates are. Uh, they're sorted alphabetically. Um, so if you have your procedures in your templates, you'll be able to find them in your system and make any adjustments uh, that you may need to make in this view.